Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hard cut track and this is a totally unedited recording. Let us observe this surgery. After thorough irrigation of the ocular surface with ringer lactate or balanced salt solution. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now this is 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose filling up the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. Now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Now, capsulorexis. Capsulorexis is done with a iftrita forceps. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around. This is a hard cataract, so the size of the rexis is more than 5.5 millimeter, 5.5 to 6 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done at multiple points. Small amounts of BSS is injected at multiple points and the nucleus is rotated. Visco is again injected to fill up the interior chamber. This is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything. The microscope is Topcon's OMS 90 and the FECO machine is Oatly Catarex 3. The FECO needle goes bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now watch submarine job. The FECO needle goes, travels through the substance of the nucleus and a nice crack is achieved. The nucleus is rotated 180 degree and the two pieces are completely separated. This is another chop on a hemineucleus and this is another chop on the other hemineucleus. And the fragments are now emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 85 percent in continuous mode. By this time on hemineucleus has been emulsified. This is the other hemineucleus. This is a large fragment and it is being emulsified slowly and this is the last fragment. At this time I usually go to FECO 3 mode nowadays where the vacuum is less about 250 to 300, flow rate is 25 to 30 ml per minute. So this is the last portion of the nucleus. At this time we must take extra caution to manage the nucleus. So the, the nucleus has been nicely managed and now the FECO needle is removed. There is some cortex, little bit of visco is injected at this time so that Simco can be used safely. If there is no visco at this time, the antechamber tends to collapse and the instrument may touch the corneal endothelium. If we inject some visco at this time, the visco comes out gradually and the antechamber is maintained in a better way. So the cortex has been nicely cleaned and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I am going to use a B cartridge, so I enlarge the main oat little bit. The size of the main oat becomes about 3 millimeter. Now this is hydroimplantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Note that 
just by a gentle push of the irrigating cannula. The trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag. We need not use a Sinsky hook or any other instrument to dial the lens to place it into the capsular bag. Yes, the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag and we have completed the surgery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now this is hydration of corneal stroma on other side of this side port so that leakage from this side port stops. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it does not require any hydration. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber after the thorough lavage the antechamber is formed and the integrity of all the wounds are checked by a cotton dipped Johnson bard. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.